students welcome in this maths class in this class we'll discuss about one question which is taken from class 10 chapter 9 some applications of trigonometry and this is very important question the question is the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point 60 meter above a lake is 30 degree so a lake is given and on lake one point is there which is 60 meter above the lake from that point the angle of elevation of cloud is 30 degree given and the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud in the lake is 60 degree now this cloud is uh, there in the lake also and its reflection is there in the lake so the angle of depression of the reflection of this cloud in the lake is 60 degree given right find the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake so we have to find out the height of the cloud on the surface of the lake so let's draw the figure first of all so one lake is given here so let's take uh, this is lake suppose this is the surface of the lake so i write this as a okay and suppose this is c right this is the surface of the lake now at a point 60 meter above the lake suppose this is point b so b is the point which is 60 meter above the lake so it means ab is 60 meter from this point okay one cloud is there suppose cloud is here okay so i am making cloud here this is cloud right and the point point d is representing cloud right so from this point the angle of elevation of the cloud is given 30 degree so from here if you see the cloud then this will be your ray of sight uh, this is your ray of sight ये yes, स्टूडेंट्स आपके साथ एक बहुत ही अमेजिंग बात करने जा रहा हूं अगर आप CBSE क्लास 8 से लेकर 12 तक के स्टूडेंट्स हैं या फिर IIT JE नीट की तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो अन एकेडमी लेकर आया है आपके लिए मेगा ऑफर जहां आपको मिल रहा है अन एकेडमी का 45 डेज का प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन जो कि यूजुअली 10000 रुपीस का होता है वो आपको सिर्फ 299 रुपीस की कॉस्ट पर दिया जाएगा और यही नहीं अगर आप मेरा कोड RAKESS2022 जो कि आपको स्क्रीन पर दिख रहा है इसको यूज करेंगे तो आपको इस पर एडिशनल 10% ऑफ दिया जाएगा यानी कि 10000 रुपीस का सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑलमोस्ट 270 रुपीस में इजंट इट इंटरेस्टिंग ऑफर बहुत ही लिमिटेड है और वैलिड है सिर्फ 30th अप्रैल 2022 तक तो अभी मेरा कोड RAKESS2022 यूज करें और परचेज कीजिए अपना मनपसंद कोर्स और अपने एग्जाम की तैयारी स्टार्ट कीजिए तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए लिंक पर क्लिक करें और क्रैक करें अपना टारगेट एग्जाम क्लियर एंड दिस इज हॉरिजॉन्टल ऑफ द आई ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वर ओके दिस इज हॉरिजॉन्टल सो दिस एंगल इज गिवन टू यू 30 डिग्री राइट सो इट इज सेड दैट फ्रॉम द लेक above 60 meter okay so this is point which is above 60 meter from the lake so angle of elevation of the cloud is this is 30 degree given okay now see uh, this is we, we join this okay now this is lake this cloud is or its reflection in the lake suppose is this okay we are to take care of this thing that how much height of the cloud above the lake that much depth we have to take below the lake also okay so suppose karo its uh, reflection in the lake is at point e right so this is reflection of the cloud at point e suppose okay this is reflection in the lake lake is ac so reflection is of the cloud is e d is cloud and its reflection is e in the lake now the angle of depression of this reflection from same point is 60 degree given so see here from same point if you see the reflection so this will be your ray of sight this is ray of sight and this is horizontal already drawn so this angle is given to you 60 degree right and this is lake or you can show lake like this this is water right you can show the water here so this is diagram right now uh, suppose uh, see ab is 60 
so it is cf so cf will also be 60 right same okay now suppose the df is h df height is h now it is asked that find the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake so from the surface of the lake that is point c so we have to find out cd cd height we need to find out because the cd is the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake cd okay so i told you in the beginning also that how much it is high from the point c from the surface of the lake what is the height of the cloud that much we are to take the depth of the cloud from the point c so if it is cd is h plus 60 then ce will also be h plus 60 this thing you are to keep in your mind that whatever is the height of the cloud above the lake that much will be the depth of the cloud in the lake this thing this is the main point of the question if it is understood this point everything is clear to you okay so cloud is cd at a height of cd and the depth in the lake is ce which is equal to cd only that is h plus 60 so it is also h plus 60 now we need to find out cd it means 60 plus h we need to find out so first of all our work is to find out h so i tell you how to find out h so you can see these two right angle triangles see here uh, one right angle triangle is b f e okay and second right angle triangle is b f d so in these two right angle triangles you can find out the value of b f because b f is common in both these right angle triangles here b f d b f e in both these right angle triangles b f is common so in these two right angle triangles you find out b f okay in terms of h will come okay we will find out bf and then we will equate bf in both the equations and we will get the value of h again i repeat in both the right angle triangles bfd and bfe we will find out the value of bf and then we will equate this value and we will get the value of h so let's start the question so it's written let in figure ac is a surface of lake okay ab is 60 meter Point B is the point of observation and DBF angle is 30 degree. E is a reflection of the cloud in the lake. DF is H meter we have supposed. CD is equal to CE is H plus 60. CD is equal to CE that is H plus 60 both. Now angle FBE is equal to 60 degree. Right. Now in right angle triangle DF b we'll find out the value of bf so bf will be up bf in the numerator over this is df df is okay so it becomes b over p base over perpendicular that is cot of 30 degree right so bf over df df is here h i assumed and cot 30 is a root 3 so from here you can find out bf is cross multiply h root 3 right so suppose this is equation number one right now in next right angle triangle that is in right angled triangle this is b f e b f e here also we will find out b f only so see here uh, b f over what is this f e f e is equal to again uh, this is b over p that is cot of 60 degree right so again see this is base this is perpendicular so it is cot of 60 so let's come to this side now so be sorry bf over fe now see here what is fe fe is 60 plus h plus 60 so you can write 60 plus h plus 60 is equal to cot 60 that is 1 by root 3 so from here bf is 120 plus h cross multiply so it is 120 plus h over root 3 right so this is equation 2 because equation 1 and equation 2 both are bf bf so we can equate these two equations so we'll write equating 1 and 2 1 and 2 so let's see what will be there it is h root 3 is equal to here 120 plus h over root 3 now you can cross multiply root 3 root 3 is 3 so 3 h is equal to 120 plus h so bring this h to this side so it becomes 2 h is equal to 120 so h is 60 meter so it means height of the cloud from point f is 60 meter so total height of the cloud from point c means from point the surface of the lake that is cd 
so we will find out CD CD is H plus 60 means H is 60 so total height is 120 60 plus 60 so that is 60 plus 60 120 meters so total height of the cloud from the surface of the lake which is point C is a 60 uh, sorry 120 meters so this way we will do this question thanks for watching